So here I wanted to show you how to add film grain to a title in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, when you use the film grain on a straight title in Final Cut Pro, if it's just white text on there, you may find that um, you don't get any of that kind of film grain noise in there at all. And I'm gonna look at a very quick way of fixing that problem. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is come up to the top left in our Final Cut Pro interface and bring up the titles. And we'll jump into the basic uh, titles. So we're gonna look down here, Pass all these ones to the basic title and we'll drag this down to the timeline. And I'm just going to change my view to fit here. I was zoomed in before and we'll type in film grain. So we're going to make this a bit bigger so we can really see the grain that we're adding. And so in the type options here, we're going to select a 2D style bold and then we'll scroll down a little and just increase the size of the font nice and big on screen so that when we add the grain, we can kind of really see it. So if we come to our effects on the right hand side here, underneath our stylized options, we have the film grain effect. So if we scroll down to film grain and drag it on, then we will see a little bit of grain on there as we play that. If we go to 100%, we'll kind of see what we're getting. Now this is the iMovie grain um, and that shows up okay. But if we come to our options here for the video and our style and we change this to realistic grain, then what we'll see is very little. So this is where when you're adding, trying to add a realistic grain um, using this effect here, it's not really showing up um, on the, the white text that's in the background. And we can do uh, one simple thing to adjust that. So basically, because it's white, there's nothing for the grain to bite into. So the grain is basically color noise um, that Final Cut Pro is generating. So we need to change the color of the type a little bit, actually by adding a gradient um, to the type or a very subtle gradient to actually get that grain to have a little bit of difference in the color to add some noise to. So if we come to the type options here and scroll down to the face options, then under color here, we've got a couple of different options. So we can click on color here and change this to gradient. And you'll see straight away that once we add a gradient there, then we get some grain on there. Now we may not want necessarily this very extreme gradient. So what we're gonna do is open up the gradient options and we're going to select the left-hand block of color here and we'll just push all these values almost all the way up to white. We'll just leave one hanging off the edge there. So everything up to 100% except for the green, which we'll leave at 90 2%. And then we'll come to the right and I'm going to push all these up to 100%, but then I'll leave the red just below at around 87%. And you'll see now that as we move these around, we're going to start to get a little bit of grain in there. So just dropping those off of 100% will give you that little bit of film grain in there. And so Final Cut Pro needs that variation in these different colors to actually add that grain. So you may not see this on the YouTube playback. If we zoom in a little, but you can see now we get this nice subtle film grain there by adding that gradient um, to the type underneath the face options. I'm also just gonna ramp this up a little bit so that we really see the grain in there from having the, the variation in the different colors. So you can see we can really modify and control how that grain is working by giving it a little bit more color to actually work with. I hope that's been helpful. If you have any questions or comments, then just leave them below and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.